Last night, before I went to bed, my jaw dropped to the floor. You see, I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw a link to Google's new Generating Music from Text AI paper. I took one quick look at it and I was astounded. I mean, you thought text to image was cool, you thought doing text generation like chat GPT was cool, well this is just as freaking cool. And people wonder why I'm obsessed with AI technology. For the longest time, the best that computers could really do was calculating really fast, which allowed us to, you know, have displays and iPhones and stuff like that. But now, different AIs can fill in different gaps and really behave like humans in a lot of ways, like creating music from a simple text prompt, interpreting it in a creative way. It is just the most cool sci-fi thing I've ever seen. Let's take a look at this stuff. Well guys, here we are with this paper, I'll link it down below. Simply just titled Music LM, Generating Music from Text. And of course, this is a part of Google's AI research. Zooming in for you guys here. So this is an AI model that is used to generate high fidelity, high quality music from simple text descriptions. An example that they provide in this introduction here is a calming violin melody backed by a distorted guitar riff. So that's a pretty good text description of a music musical sound, I guess, or of just a song, you could say. So that's kind of an example of what you can expect a lot of the prompts to look like for this, but they actually show off some other cool ideas for using prompts to create music, which I thought were really interesting, but we'll get to those. Music LM casts the process of conditional music generation as hierarchical sequence-to-sequence -sequence modeling task, and it generates music at 24 kilohertz that remains consistent over several minutes, so that's pretty much as long as a song. In terms of all of that, conditional music generation, sequence to sequence stuff. I don't really particularly understand that myself, but we'll try to understand it in a little bit. But before we try to understand it, of course we're going to listen to the results, because here on the Matt Vid Pro channel, we eat our dessert before our entree. So their experiments apparently show that Music LM outperforms previous systems in both audio quality and adherence to the text description. So it's better in every single way, basically, that music could be better. And they've also been able to demonstrate that Music LM can be conditioned on text and melody. This basically means that it can take like a whistle or a hummed melody and actually transform it based on a text description. You can think of this like image to image but for music. And they're actually supporting future research. No, the whole project's not open source or anything like that, but they are going to publicly release Music Caps, which is a data set that's composed of 5.5 thousand music text pairs with rich text descriptions provided by human experts. So they're giving you a data set here at least to start to create more AIs. They're not giving you, like, the real goods under the hood, though. Anyways, enough blabbing about what it actually is. Let's listen to some captions and their following musical sounds. I'm gonna have to put my headphones on for this one. I truthfully think that you guys are gonna have your minds blown. So, the caption here is the main soundtrack of an arcade game. It is fast-paced and upbeat with a catchy electric guitar riff. That's very specific, mind you. The music is repetitive and easy to remember, but with unexpected sounds like cymbal crashes or drum rolls. Again, extremely specific text prompt here. How does it actually do in the end result? Let's take a listen. That's a good song, man. That sounds so appealing, and it sounds like a human made it, like, indistinguishable. You'd think that that was human made. You'd think that's video game background music. There's just nothing there to really say this is AI generated. It had pretty much all of the stuff in the captions. I mean, it, yeah, it's fast-paced, it's upbeat, soundtrack of an arcade game, electric guitar riff, repetitive and easy to remember, but with unexpected sounds. It's the whole thing is there. It's crazy that they're able to do this. It sounds so good. I can't wait to use music AI like this. Super exciting. For me, this is like almost as exciting as just text to image in general. I don't know. T tell me how excited you guys are for stuff like this. Some of you guys might actually be scared already because of how good that sounds. It's scary good, like to be honest. All right, so this next one is a fusion of reggaeton and electronic dance music. So this is a pretty interesting combination here. I'm not very familiar with reggaeton music. Uh, it's got a spacey otherworldly sound. 
induces the experience of being lost in space that is that is more of a feeling than anything else like that's not describing a sound necessarily it's describing a feeling so can it capture that feeling and the music would be designed to evoke a sense of wonder and awe while still being danceable so two contrasting ideas but make them work together is basically what it's saying here so again this is probably more of a difficult prompt to capture than just that basic first one so how did it do A little something something at the end there. I don't know if that was a voice or what, but I, again, I'm not very familiar with reggaeton. I am more familiar with the electronic stuff, though, and it's definitely still danceable. I would say it does kind of invoke the experience of being lost in a space adventure. It's definitely a little bit otherworldly and spaced out. A rising synth is playing an appreggio with a lot of reverbs. It is backed by pads, sub bass line, and soft drums. This song is full of synth sounds, creating a soothing and adventurous atmosphere and maybe playing at a festival during two songs for build-up. So the difference between this prompt right here is that it actually gives you an example of where it might be. So this is very much like natural language description. This is the kind of thing that you would say to ChatGPT, for example. You're not just putting keywords in, you're actually talking to it like it's a person. So that's important to note with this. But let's see how the music came out. I think that build up there is the appreggio. I'm not entirely sure. You music nerds will have to clue me into that. Definitely lots of reverb. Definitely got the bass line and soft drums. Definitely a lot of like synth sounds. And it's definitely very, very soothing, I would say. It's a very soothing song. And it definitely captures the adventurous atmosphere. And the example, I would say, is correct. At the festival between two songs for a build up. Very accurate here. A slow temple. Bass and drums, reggae song, sustained electric guitar, high-pitched bongos with ringing tones, vocals are relaxed with laid-back feel, very expressive. So this is slow and laid-back in comparison to the other ones. There's something just so insane about what we just heard. I mean, it's definitely reggae. I will say that from my limited experience on reggae, mind you, it's definitely got all the different things that it described there, but the vocals are, are the main thing. I don't know if I even mentioned the vocals in when I was describing the prompt, but yeah, it definitely had vocals like were asked in it. And it's interesting because they weren't necessarily English words or words that we could understand. I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe they could have been in another language for all I know, but they still sounded so human, which is crazy. It sounded like a woman's voice. It was a little robotic maybe, but it's really, really close to just sounding like a woman singing. Very, very good stuff. Funky piece with a strong danceable beat and prominent bass line. A catchy melody from a keyboard adds a layer of richness and complexity to the song. Almost reminiscent of like Mario Kart or something like that. The beginning of the song definitely doesn't start out that strong, but once the beat kicks in, all is fine and dandy. Next one, a meditative song calming and soothing with flutes and guitars. The music is slow with a focus on creating a sense of peace and tranquility. So this is like meditation music.
What's interesting about that one, I think, the flute actually does sound a little strange. It doesn't sound exactly like someone's playing the flute. It's it's a little bit off in some ways, um, but for the most part, it is very meditative, I would say. It's definitely calming and matches the prompt pretty well. Not perfect, though. This is an R&B hip-hop music piece. There is a male vocal rapping and a female vocal singing in the rap-like manner. The beat is comprised of a piano playing the chords with an electronic drum backing. The atmosphere of the piece is playful and energetic. This piece could be used in the soundtrack of a high school drama movie slash TV show. It could also be played at a birthday party or a beach party. That's so strange. That's so weird to hear. It definitely sounds like a rap song, you know, the beat and everything and the, the different sounds and the way it sort of transforms from the female vocals to the male vocals. It all kind of makes sense. And it sounds like they're trying to say English words, but it's just not coming out right. It's It sounds like you don't know how to speak English and you're listening to other people speak English. Super, super weird. Um, so I would say that's like one of the weirder generations of the bunch just because of how complex like rap and r and hip hop music is. But yeah, that one I think has a little bit longer to go until you get a good result out of it. I mean, that's probably one of the hardest problems of the bunch so far. This next one, industrial techno sounds, repetitive hypnotic rhythms, strings playing, a repetitive melody creates an eerie, unsettling atmosphere. The music is hypnotic and trance-like. It is easy to get lost in the rhythm, the strings high-pitched notes straight through the darkness, adding a layer of tension and suspense. I actually really like that. That's some good background music for like a really intense portion of a video game. And we've got two more here. Yes, I'm listening to all of the different captions and their related songs in this video because I just think it is that cool. Anyways, the second to last one here, epic soundtrack using orchestral instruments. This piece builds tensions, creates a sense of urgency. Capella, chorus, singing in unison, it creates a sense of power and strength. This is something you'd probably hear in like a movie. I like everything about that except for the vocals. The vocals sound very creepy and robotic in my opinion. And our final one, we hear a choir singing a Gregorian chant and a drum machine creating a rhythmic beat. The slow, stately sounds of strings provide a calming backdrop for the fast, complex sounds of futuristic electronic music. So that's pretty cool. The, the only thing, again, is the singing. Once the human voice is added into pretty much any of these examples, you can definitely tell it's AI generated. Other than that, it's absolutely mind blowing. I think it's mind blowing no matter what, but they also have some examples of long generation in here. Just melodic techno. Skipping through this. You can get an idea for it. So you can imagine in the future, you know, you might just have an AI generated radio station that's constantly playing music for whatever application it might be, usually business related. You know, if you have a massage clinic or something, and you just need music playing all the time, then you just have an AI generated radio station play it all the time. They also have something called story mode. The audio is generated by providing a sequence of text prompts this time, and these influence how the model continues the semantic tokens derived from the previous caption. Time to Meditate was the first one here. It goes till 15 seconds. And then they have Time to Wake Up, which comes right now. Get some vocals in there. And then at 30 seconds, they have Time to Run. Yeah. 
So you can sort of craft a song this way. Oh, wow. Don't let the tears. Pretty cool. I like it. The story mode really is like creating a whole song. Very cool. First part of this is video game music. And then it transforms into a meditation next to a river. Wow, I really like that. And then after that we get fire. Interesting. And then fireworks. Pretty, pretty weird song. This next one's a little bit longer, but they do jazz, pop, rock, death metal, basically a bunch of genres mixed into one. It's pretty crazy. And then they have a ton of examples, a plethora actually, of uh, these different combinations where you can sort of go through the list here and see like, oh, Camp Town races with electronic synth lead. So obviously I'm not going to go through all these, but you guys can go ahead and play around with this and, and see this. This is pretty interactive, so I think you guys might have some fun with this. And then they also do painting caption conditioning. So they've got an actual painting, and then the painting description, and then generated audio for this painting, which is so cool to think of as well. So apparently this is what this painting sounds like, according to the AI. I can kind of see it. So this next one is Napoleon crossing the Alps. Pretty accurate. This next one is this rather creepy painting, at least in my opinion, of this dance. <laughs> Oh, they're having a time. They're dancing. And of course, the famous Scream painting here. Yeah, very creepy. And we'll finish off with the Starry and Night here by Van Gogh. Yeah, it sounds about right. Nothing too special though on the music end. And then they've also got just raw instrument generation too, which you can listen to. But I'll let you guys go through that on your own time. Of course, this will be linked down below. Then they have some genres as well. So many different uh, examples for you guys to listen to. Wow, and they have like musician experience level on here as well. Again, I'll let you guys go through that stuff. Places escaping prison. What does that sound like? Yeah. Different clubs in different time periods. Futuristic club. Accordion death metal. Okay, what does that sound like? That's cool. I like that. That's actually cool. That's pretty good. 
accordion most underrated instrument. And this shows some diversity between the different text prompts that you can receive. Anyways, folks, yeah, this is definitely a site worth checking out if you want to listen to a lot of these examples. There's a lot of really, really cool stuff on there. You could spend an hour listening to all this stuff. So honestly, take a look if you're interested. The future of AI-generated music is looking pretty exciting. I can't wait to try this kind of tech out for myself at some point in the future. As we know, Google doesn't like to release anything, so. They did at least give us, you know, the five and a half thousand music text pairs, though, so hopefully someone makes something we can actually try for ourselves one day. Viewers, thank you so much for watching this video check out some of my other videos and honestly check out my discord as well we have a lot of really great ai resources for viewers like you on there see you in the next one and goodbye